Hi, we're going to talk basic basics about naming cyclical organic compounds. So cyclical compounds simply means that you have this long carbon chain and it wraps around and it attach, attaches to itself. Um, so here's a beginning example for you. Um, now what I did was I wrote this, as you'll see in books, the shorthand for organic chemistry. This is really what it is. And you can see why we do the shorthand. That's a lot to write. So here is your quick way, um, easy way to read it. Each vertice is a carbon, and it's understood that each carbon has enough hydrogens to give it a total of four bonds. Um, so notice I've got one, two, three, four, five, six points, six vertices. That is a six-membered ring. And here's what it is, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And notice each carbon has um, a single bond to two carbons, so it, um, each carbon has a single bond to two hydrogens. We just don't want to take the time to write all that. So here's our shorthand. Now, the way to um, name this, you count those carbons, um, look at the bonds. So I've got six carbons, uh, that's hex, they're all single bonds, so that's ain. But then I have to tell the reader, hey, this wrapped around and attached to itself. It's in a cyclical pattern. All you do is add the word cyclo to this. That is simply cyclohexane. Six carbons that attach to themselves. All right, let's do this one right here. Notice I have some substituents attached to this. Now, um, watch that video on substituents for um, organic compounds. I told you there that you always count the longest carbon chain. Well, when you have a cyclical compound, that cyclical compound trumps, it will be the backbone. It will be the backbone. So you count the number of carbons in that cyclical compound, and that's what you always write at the end. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five carbons. Five carbons is pent. They're all single bonded, so it's pentane. It wrapped around attached to itself, so that's cyclo. Okay, so there's my cyclopentane, but we do have two substituents attached to this. We have to tell the reader what they are and where they are. We have to give the name of the substituent and the address. So we're going to number this, and you always number the um, cyclical ring to provide the smallest address, the smallest numbers possible for the substituents. So we could go one, two, three, four, five. Um, if I went the other way, one, two, three, four, no. Nope. One, two, three, up. Oh. So we could do this either way. That I could have the um, um, the one on the methyl group, or we could have the one on the ethyl group. So when we write methyl and ethyl, we always write it in alphabetical order, that the ethyl will be first. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this our one carbon, two, three, since the ethyl is going to be written first. So this will be, a1 ethyl 3 methyl cyclopropane. Um, now, you could see somebody reading this and then putting like the methyl up top, there's my um, one carbon, and then two, three, putting the methyl right here. So ethyl up top, methyl down here. It's fine. It's, this is just rotated in space. It would just be turned in space. It's still the same compound. Um, Okay, let's do this one. So let's count that uh, cyclical compound, how many carbons there are. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight uh, carbons is going to be oct. They're all single bonded is ane. And now we have to tell the reader where we have these three methyl groups. So we could go one, two, three, four, or one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. So if I go this way, it'd be one plus two is three, plus four is seven, or we could go one, three, plus three is four, plus another four is eight. So it's going to be lower numbers if we start with this carbon right here, that methyl group. And of course, I wouldn't go one, two, three, four, five, six. That would give me bigger, even bigger numbers. Okay, so let's give the address for each of these methyl groups. We have one, two, and four. Now I've got three methyl groups. So you'll recall we have to tell the reader that we've got three. That will be trimethyl octane. One, two, four, trimethyl octane. Okay, so there you have it on cyclical compounds. The big takeaway 
the cyclical compound will always be considered the backbone. So you count the number of carbons, it's just the number of vertices. Um, and then you will give an address to each of the substituents um, and then write those in alphabetical order. Okay, good job. Have a nice day. Thank you.